This video will demonstrate the principles of using MDrummer to effectively and efficiently create a drum track to a song. It is important to watch our MIDI command method tutorial prior to this video, so you understand the principles of some of the methods used here. I'll start by briefly acquainting you with the track I'll be using. Get back, you feel me? Yeah, I get back, y'all, out my face! I'm gonna spread your brains all over the place! I'm gonna kick through that door and make a scene! Hit your dog with a robot magazine! Get back! You know I pity the fool! I wanna have to send you right back down to grammar school! Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell! And I'ma vex you! Gonna put you under my spell if you can't- I'll load an instance of MDrummer VST1 out into an instrument track. The 16 out version won't be necessary since that is mainly used for further mixing. I'll choose hip hop for this track and find an adequate rhythm. I'll now move to the mix console as I'm going to use an instance of M multiband limiter to make the drum track hotter from the offset. The song starts with one bar of silence. I'll insert a MIDI clip here, which can be the intro, followed by an eight bar MIDI clip, which I will use as a template for the rest. I'll draw a note on C minus two for the intro. On the second clip, I'll draw seven bars of groove and a one bar break. I'll now simply copy and paste the second clip along the arrangement and add a final MIDI clip for the outro. I'll play a small section to demonstrate how the sequence sounds before editing. And after an increase of three semitones. With that in mind, I'll edit the remaining clips accordingly. An increase of eight semitones for the first chorus. An increase of six semitones for the solo. An increase of 9 semitones for the second chorus. An increase of 4 semitones for the second verse. And an increase of 10 semitones for the final chorus, bridge and outro. I want to add some variation, so in the three chorus sections I'm adding a stop, half a bar in and a break on bar 6. I'll add two stops in this final chorus, since it will work well with the vocal. Heading back to MDrummer's interface, I'll click on the additional button and deselect random loops, so I have full control over which loops MDrummer will play. Now, using the velocity control, I can choose which loops I want to use for this song.
To conclude this demonstration, I will play the song through with the drum track. Twenty thirteen. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah. Worldwide. Get back. Get back. Get back, y'all. Get back. Get back. Get back. For watching, next in the M Drummer tutorial series, I will show you how the song tab can be used as an alternative method.